Welcome back to part two of viewers picks volume three. Um, next YouTube user is FightFan1980. All the information I have on him just says he's a 29 year old American. He sent me a ton of names um, in each of the five major or, or, uh, weight divisions. We'll start off with uh, his heavyweights. First guy I mentioned was Bobby Peebler. He's four and one, four submissions, 24 years old. Stands six feet tall, weighs in 265 pounds. He also mentioned uh, uh, another handful of heavyweights, Travis Brown. If you want to get some information on him, um, check out uh, my MMA Prospects First Quarter Part One video. There's some uh, a bio on Travis Brown there. Of course, he's got an upcoming fight with uh, James McSweeney at Tough 11 finale. Two other heavyweights you mentioned, Kyle Weaver, apparently he's 8 and 1 as an amateur, and Alan Wright. Both are very large fighters with apparently a fair amount of amateur experience. And he also mentioned uh, uh, Ron Sparks, who was also talked about earlier by Dylan B. At light heavyweight, he mentioned Eric Smith, 6 and 1, 2 knockouts, 3 submissions, 6 feet tall, 205 pounds, trains out of Team Tompkins. Big victory over previously undefeated Cody Donovan. He also mentioned Dane Bonningson, 8 0 as an amateur, um, all first round stoppages, and Benjamin Lagman, apparently 4 1 as an amateur, can't find much information on him. At middleweight, he mentioned Chris Camozzi, of course, Ult Ultimate Fighter 11 um, veteran, had the uh, broken jaw and had to leave the show. 12 and 3, 4 knockouts, 5 submissions. Gum MMA is the Jimmy trains out of 6 foot 3, 185 pounds. He beat Victor Moreno, Chad Reiner. He also fought uh, and lost against Jesse Taylor, Jesse Forbes. And he beat Dwayne Lewis. Anybody that's a fan of the MFC or uh, English or uh, England's MMA circuit knows Dwayne Lewis. So that was a big victory. Um, he also mentioned uh, Ryan Gimo, Jesse Forbes, Chad Jay, Jeremy Kimball, and Dennis Olsen at middleweight. Um, next guy I'm going to talk about is a fighter I've been I've been uh, waiting to see fight again. It's actually um, kind of a coincidence that he mentioned it. His name is Kyle Palmento. Um, seven and zero, three knockouts, four submissions. Like I said, I've been waiting for him to fight for a long time. Noble wins over Olaf Alfonso and Jason Von Flew. Hopefully a guy we'll see more of in the near future. He also mentioned Charlie Brenneman. Of course, UFC now UFC veteran who beat uh, Jason High. Um, he also mentioned Nathan Gerrard. 10-0 and fighter, 170 pounds again. Hasn't fought since 2008. Another interesting fighter I mentioned was Joe Ellenberger. Um, 10 and 0, 6 knockouts, 2 submissions. Jake's twin brother, All American wrestler at Omaha, apparently had a career ending blood disease and hasn't fought in a, and, and hasn't fought in a year or the best part of a year. It's too bad because apparently he was a fairly talented fighter and somebody I'd definitely like to see fight in the future. But from all the latest reports, his career is is finished. Um, the next fight you mentioned was Dustin Winterholt, eight and one, two knockouts, five submissions. Um, Tyler Stinson is another guy. Apparently, um, if anybody watched uh, uh, is paying attention to this season's Bellator tournament um, at welterweight, Stinson was the guy who won the open Bellator tryouts, and he I believe he fought and lost to Dan Hornbuckle. Have to confirm that, but I'm. Pretty positive he was submitted in the first round. Um, pretty talented fighter, so check him out. Um, next guy I mentioned, Brent Weedman. 11-4-1. He got a key win over Drew Fickett and John Eric Marriott, I believe. Next guy I mentioned at welterweight was Pat Ottenwood. No, uh, he's an undefeated professional in 10 fights, 9-0-1-1. Trains at Team Bomb Squad, six foot hundred and actually has fought at one fifty five, believe it or not. He's fairly big for that division, but he's a natural welterweight. And the last guy I mentioned at welterweight was Lance Benost, one and all. Recently has just fought his first pro fight. At lightweight, first guy that he mentioned I'm gonna talk about is Pat Curran. Ten and three, three knockouts, three submissions. Five foot nine, 155 pounder. Um, recent win over previously undefeated, undefeated Mike Ricci at Bellator 14. He's the brother of Jeff Curran. 
and I believe he's matched up against Roger Huerta in the semi-final of the Season 2 lightweight tournament tournament for Bellator. I believe that's who he's matched up against. So, definitely a guy I um, want to pay attention to. Some other lightweight names he mentioned, Steven Seiler, Josh Jansen, Chris Bennett, um, Scott Casey, 7-1, 4 knockouts, 2 submissions, um, and Kevin Aguilar. So thanks again, Fight Fan 1980, for all your uh, names. And uh, again, don't really have any information on you. I just your YouTube page is very limited, but um, apparently has a fair fair amount of knowledge of MMA. So check his page out, and maybe he'll uh, he'll add some more information to it in the near future. The next viewer on the list that submitted some names is uh, Mayo Dred, and anybody who watches videos here on YouTube knows him. It's a 23-year-old Canadian. Um, there's a lot of good M MMA enthusiasts on YouTube, um, but there are a few guys who stand out, and one of the Mayo Dredd is one of them. You know himself, um, maybe the MMA professor. Two guys, you know, I noticed that have real strong knowledge. If you hear their predictions and some of their videos, there's a lot of sense behind the words. Uh, they're explaining to you why they believe. Um, what they're saying, if why a fighter's going to win, or, or how they match up against someone, and of course, there's many other great uh, um, enthusiasts here on YouTube. I just haven't had a chance to see all of them, but there's two guys for sure that stand out. Some of the picks that uh, um, Mayo Dread had here are some really talented fighters. Um, first guy is Nick Penner, um, a Canadian fighter, six feet tall, 227 pounds, 30 years old, nine and one. Um, three knockouts, five submissions. You know, it's funny. A few years back, I think it was roughly maybe three years ago. <coughs> I was uh, working late one night. I get home. It was two or three in the morning, and I uh, turned TSN on. And uh, I seen a, there was a cage fight, and and I seen this Butterbean was on the camera. Somebody was pounding away at him, and, and it was Nick Penner. So that's the first I seen a Nick Penner, and uh, I think his his last fight. Um, was either in the MFC or, or Heat XC. That's two Edmonton-based organizations, for those of you who are not familiar with them. And I believe it was at 205 pounds. So I'm not sure if Penner's a, a, a guy you'll see a true heavyweight, but he he's definitely a legitimate fighter, and we, we could see him uh, in a bigger promotion. Hopefully we do, because he's a good fighter. Whether that be at heavyweight or light heavyweight, that remains to be seen. The next guy I'm going to talk about that Mayo Dredd mentioned is Rogent Laurent. Excellent fighter, nine one and one, one knockout, six submissions, six foot three, two hundred thirty-five pound heavyweight, thirty-one years old. Um, trains out of uh, Gracie, Barcelona, Spain. Of course, his head trainer is Robin Gracie. Believe he's a, B, uh, a BJJ black belt. Um, big wins over Mayo Drake Petrovic. Um, he, he also fought to a draw with Alex Olenek. He beat Michael Kitt. There. For those you don't who don't know Kitt, he's a very serious striker. Um, and Achman Sultanov is another big name he beat. Um, showed some KO power in his recent fight with a, a head kick knockout. I believe that was against uh, Petkovic. So check him out. Um, definitely Lawrence, a guy who doesn't get a lot of coverage, but he's definitely a <clears throat> a guy who could do some damage, you know, in uh, in possibly an A A type level organization. Um, next fighter I'm going to talk about is uh, Martin Desolitz. Uh, 10 and 2, 7 knockouts, 3 submissions, 6 feet tall, 220 pounds. Fights out of Quebec, Canada. He's got um, some dev definitely a good uh, knockout artist. <coughs> he finishes fights, that's for sure. He's got a big KO victory over UFC veteran Victor Valimaki, and he's also beaten Todd Goldenberg. I mean, anybody who follows the uh, Canadian MMA circuit knows Goldenberg, so that's another big victory for him. So, definite guy to watch out for, Martin Desolitz. Um, they don't have any information on his, any of his upcoming fights, but definitely a guy uh, to pay attention to. Next on the list is uh, Marcus Vatanen. 13 wins, 2 losses, 3 knockouts, 8 submissions, 6 foot 4, 24 years old. Um, a light heavyweight Finnish fighter. He's beaten Christoph Kulak, uh, Martin Zawada, two tough guys, and his only two losses came to Rodney Wallace and Christian Mpumbo. And both of those guys are, are, are A level fighters, so definitely a guy to watch out for. Mark 